Thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen Cooper and her family have been long supporters of the Cultural Gardens, and we're so happy to have her come and sing the national anthem. Thank you, Kathleen. What a beautiful job. I'd next like to introduce you to Richard Krepich, one of the vice presidents of the Cleveland Cultural Garden Federation, and he has some introductions. Richard? Thank you very much, Sheila. I have the honor of uh, recognizing some of our elected officials, and the first two I want to recognize and have them come up to the stage are Jeff Johnson, councilman from the uh, 10th district, 10th ward, I'm sorry, and Yvonne Conwell, who is Kyber County Councilwoman for District 7, and they would like to make some welcome remarks. Yvonne also is representing uh, her husband, who is Ward 9 Councilman Kevin Conwell. And these three folks that I've, I've just mentioned, the Rockefeller Park lies within their, their territory that they represent. So, Jeff. Hi, I'm, I'm Yvonne Conwell, and I'm standing up here representing my other half that's not here, but he will play tonight on the McKnight stage at 6.30, so come out and enjoy his band. And I'm Yvonne Conwell, and I just want to say welcome to you. If anything that you're going to leave here with today is that this is the 67th World Fest, and we are really proud of this event. Even though it's the second year here, we want to keep this going year after year because coming together, my, my district alone is so diverse, and I love this event, and I look forward to it every year. And, walking in the parade and seeing all the delegates. This is a, a really great event, and it would not be without the sponsors that have put this on, each of you for attending, the volunteers, and the Cuyahoga County residents that come and put this event on. It takes all of us, it takes a village, and we've all heard that in whatever culture that we've been in to raise people. But without, and I don't want to leave the one man that had the fortitude and the vision to bring this is Mr. James Levine. So if we can give him a round of applause. And I'm going to be brief. And my last statement is I want to personally, personally congratulate all of these individuals today. And I look forward to watching the ceremony. God bless. Let me say on behalf of those who every day live in this neighborhood who have the pleasure and the privilege of walking amongst these trees and bushes and then within this park, those of us who live in the neighborhood want to welcome you. I represent parts of the area, probably about a fourth of the north side of the Culture Gardens along with Kevin, but to Sheila and to Richard and to all of the Federation who have been able to, through the years, keep this maintained, I want to continue to congratulate you for the hard work. It's not easy running these gardens, but they've done a great job, and I want to acknowledge that as well, working with them as a partner. To Judge Price Smith, to the, the new soon-to-be citizens of America, and all of you, let's give them a round of applause, the new citizens of the United States of America, as soon as they take the pledge. To Jim Levin and his planning committee who put this on, there's so many more folks I want to thank, but I do want to acknowledge she's not here as a council person, but she's my colleague from the west side, Donna Brady, who's here for Albania, and um, she's the leader of the Albania Culture Guard. She brought Mother Teresa to us. And now, how, how else can you within, within distance have both Gandhi and Mother Teresa within, within a certain distance? I mean, this is wonderful, not to mention all the others. But let me just say to everyone, welcome to, to Glenville, welcome to the Culture Gardens. Those of you who have come here for the first time, come back, bicycle, walk, run, enjoy this Rockefeller Park that the citizens of Cleveland continue to maintain. God bless you all. Thank you. Very much, Yvonne and, and uh, Jeff. And I'd also like to recognize uh, Ward 14 Councilman Brian Cummins, who's here with us today. Thank all of you for your support of the gardens and recognition of this valued treasure in Rockefeller Park. Thank you. <laughs> 